got it working. He got it working. What do you know? Okay, so we can go to war. Okay, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the uh, Wild Man Gaming and Range Quit channel. And we are here to talk about a game that was requested by our very own Diver Spud. Um, so if you haven't watched it yet, uh, we had a trailer, a channel trailer, and uh, we basically told everybody what kind of games we play here, strategy games mostly. But uh, we also said if you would like to see any games played on this channel, let us know. Would you like to see some more games played here? What games would you like to see? Let us know. And lo and behold, we got a response. Mr. Diverspud has actually requested us to play The Ancient Art of War. That is a really old game and I struggled hard to remember where we could find it and so I had to look it up. Fortunately, Wikipedia gives us some information about it. It's, uh, believe it or not, one of the very first real-time strategy games, if not the first real-time strategy game that even I could remember. Back in 1984, it was developed by Everywhere and it was, uh, let me see, published by Broderbund Software Incorporated. They made it for the Apple II, the uh, MS-DOS PC, Macintosh. They made it for quite a number of platforms actually when you think about it. Back in 1984, so you could see how, how that was from way back. We can read through some of the strategies and some of the things that can be done here in the Ancient Art of War Wikipedia page. Um, it'll be interesting to note that even as early as that time, you could even edit your own scenarios, your own maps, your own forma formations, your own missions. So actually, it is pretty good. It's got quite a legacy when you think about it. One of the first real-time strategy games, and we're gonna see how we, how can we play this game? Where are we gonna find it? Um, fortunately, it seems that over here, we have on the internet archive, the ancient art of war. So let's click to begin and find out. Uh, do we want to make changes? Uh, well, let's just briefly make a uh, run through this, but basically um, we can't make too many changes here. This is the editor. You can make a campaign. You can change a campaign you Can delete the campaign. Go back to the title screen. You can even teach your squads new formations. Options over here. There, there's not much that we can do here. Um, fight delay is medium. Sure, why not? Data disk uses drive A. We do not have drive A anymore. I don't think so. And uh, this is online, so I don't think it's got a working drive A. Um, all sounds are on. VGA. We're using uh, VGA, the virtual graphics adapter, uh, with 16 colors. Okay, let's let's not change anything. We're done. Okay, let's just go to war, okay? Let's go to war. Okay, so uh, here are the different scenarios. Uh, you've got your titles, um, you've got Race for the Flags, the Battle of Pharsalus, the Contest of the Gods, the Sherwood Forest. Um, I'm thinking that maybe um, when you're thinking of uh, some really strong um, um, contests, um, some really big, climactic, epic battles. Um, I, I think the scenario, nothing better befits it uh, with the name of Contest of the Gods. And uh, maybe we can take a look at um, how that works. Uh, see, so... Okay, so we can find ourselves in an epic battle. I don't know what it is. Contest of the Gods. Yeah. Contest of the Gods. So here we have... It was a slow day in Asgard. And Mars, the god of war, and Loki, the god of mischief, decided to have a contest. Um, I'm not too sharp on my um, ancient mythology, but I really have a tough time trying to remember Mars in Asgard. Uh, uh, what do you think? If you have any comments on that, um, do so. Put your comments below. Um, and then uh, they built a forest and put trails and villages in it. At one end, they put a black flag and a white flag. They, they each chose someone to race through the forest. The first one to the flags win. Mars chose the ancient Chinese warrior Sun Tzu and smiled confidently. Loki chose you and chortled insanely. So this is where we find the rules. Uh, these rules can be edited. You know, villages supply food, ports don't supply food. Fly line range is long. Ports train men rarely. Your men are in prime shape. 
The enemy is seen always. Water is deep but calm. Mountain is high but safe. Forest is dense. Um, uh, I'm not sure how all of these work together, but only in general terms, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Who are we fighting? Uh, Sun Tzu. This is probably a form of leveling. So Sun Tzu understands every aspect of war and uses it to his advantage. Athena, worship for her wisdom as well as her warrior skills. Alexander the Great keeps good food lines but weak when not on the plains. Geronimo uses hit and run tactics but doesn't like to be caught in the open. I really like Crazy Ivan because he's not a great leader but he has a good sense of humor. Something tells me we're still going to lose to Crazy Ivan. Let's go. Okay, so here we have. I don't have uh, all the controls available, but here we have um, um, the cursor and the move, info size, detach. Okay, uh, so these are the things that we can do. We can move it, we can get information, size, we can get information, detach. So, information. Okay, it stopped when moving it's March, so its condition, its food is uh, becoming faster. What's speed? Speed is. March fast, march slow, march, march fast. Okay, so maybe we should go march fast. And then we can end. And then um, uh, the, in, the the size. You have one knight and one archer. Okay, formation. There's your knight, K, and then A for archer. Fine. Okay. Um, we can change the formation, but I don't think we need to detach. We can detach uh, the archer from the old group into the new group. Select from the above types to detach and end knight archer. So archer. Okay. So let's end that. Can we do that? Okay. So now we have two. You'll notice. Okay. So let's get information. Who's this? Uh, size one archer. Okay. So let's go for the information for the archer. And then speed is march fast. Okay. And then let's move him. Okay. Why did we select... Why did we detach the archer to move him? Uh, here's what I'm thinking. Knights, to me, that tells me that maybe they're wearing armor. I think I made a mistake that time. So they're wearing armor, so that tells me that maybe they're going to be slow. Um, so, uh, and uh, I, I'm assuming that the archers and the uh, knights together would end up getting bogged down. Uh, you know, maybe the, the the knights would slow down the archers. So that's what I'm thinking. So that's why we separated them. So. Here we have the archers running along. Yep. They'll pass through the village. See. So that's the first key point that we learn here. Archers on their own can move faster. But if you combine them with other units, the the unit will tend to move at the speed of the slowest um, squad member. And uh, I'm assuming since the knights are armored, they'll be slower. The archers, uh, probably lightly armored, they'll be able to move faster, as you can see here. Uh, so that's why they're moving upwards. Okay. Um, but certainly, I think that the archers here um, are not tracing the best path. You'll notice what, what happened is that uh, when you press M to move, um, you turn into a cursor which you can move around with the arrow keys but that also means that you have to be careful where you place your arrow keys uh, where you place your your path where you trace your path because if you pass through the forest it could slow down your your unit so here we can move again and trace a better path one that doesn't touch the the um, the forest. Okay. 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 There we go. There we go. There we go. 
There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. We'll find out. Maybe we can trace a better path later. So here we have them. Wonder what Crazy Ivan is doing. Okay. We soon too would have been better, but <clears throat> uh, this is just a test. We're testing out um, how we're going to play here. So let's see how we will fare against them. Right. So we, let's see how we can um, fare against uh, Sun Tzu. Oh uh, no, no, not Sun Tzu. Crazy Ivan. Okay. Go. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna pass through this village and hopefully it provides us with food. Now I don't know how long you have to stay um, in in a village in order to get food. Maybe we can get it from info. Okay, condition is going down, but food just went up. You notice that? Okay. Okay, fast march in a northern direction. So still doing a fast march. Boy, this is wrong with crazy Ivan. Come on, crazy Ivan. You gonna? Okay, so it's moving. Crazy Ivan is moving. Okay, so here we're using we're viewing the game in slow game in slow mode. Let's see if uh, nope. There's just no way around it. Okay. Okay, let's just go up to that flag and see how far it goes. Oh, we're exhausted. Okay, so the enemy flag is captured in the northeast. We won. Yoo-hoo! Okay, so, so this is basically how the game is played. Um, but what about combat? We didn't even fight the enemy. Find out how we're gonna do that, okay? Here we go. Woohoo! Victory was yours by capturing the flags. Okay. Press any key to continue. Okay, so we can go to war. But maybe nothing so epic as um, the contest of the gods. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Go to war. Race for the flags. Race for the flags really looks like it sounds like it's gonna be contest of the gods. Battle of Pharsalus, Sherwood Forest. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't even tell us which one is easy. So let us see. I've, I'm pretty rusty here and I don't know how this game works, but let's try it. Let's try. Okay, race for the flags. You're deep in the forest of the south, monitoring enemy troop movements. Suddenly a messenger arrives in a cloud of smoke. You tear open the sealed envelope that he hands you and read, Urgent. Thieves have placed two flags in a vacant fort in the north. One flag is white, one flag is black. If the Mongolians reach the flags before you do, the empire will fall. The king. You immediately call your squads to attention and start barking orders. Okay. So villagers supply food, forts don't supply food. Supply line. Short, forts train main rarely. Your men are in prime shape. Enemy seen always. Water is deep and dangerous. Mountain high but safe. Forest is sparse. We will. Who are we up against? Genghis Khan and Subuta use surprise and speed to become nearly invincible. Huh. Um, I don't know if we can handle nearly invincible. Uh, but hey, what you gonna do, huh? Okay, so here we are, outnumbered. Okay. So we have info. Okay, we've got condition. Food is going down. Okay, so that's the first concern. We don't have food. Who's got food? These guys have food. Very well. Okay, what's our unit? How many units do we have? Size. 14 knights. Okay. What do they have? Size. One knight, 13 barbarians. Okay. What do we have over here? Archers 14. Archers 14. Archers 14. Archers 14. Mostly archers. Okay. So rock, paper, and scissors time. Um who who are we going to 
Who's good against what? Okay, knights and barbarians. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this. Move. Come up here. And let's wreck them. Okay. Now, where are these flags that they speak of? Okay, over there. I see. Okay, so now the archers are fast and uh, they've got a they're gaining they're fa they're fast but uh, it looks like we'll need to okay march yeah. go ahead and then what's our formation that or what, what are the different kinds of formations i'd, I'd go with that one okay. so let's uh, okay cancel Let's move it. Which way? Which way? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, well, don't avoid this. This is full. Okay, we're gonna cross... Across the river here somewhere. Okay, not pass through the mountain. Okay, 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 okay. Mountains, gotta be careful of the mountain. Okay. There's our Hail Mary. Let's see how the others will fare, shall we? Okay. Info. Looks like everybody's gonna march fast. Okay, um, uh, formation. Fine, that's what I want. Let's move this way. Okay, Let's see. Let's see. Which way? Which way? Oops! There we go. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Ow! Oof. Oop! Okay. find out how this will fare as well okay that's the second let's see how they're gonna do it okay hang on hang on go march fast uh, formation sure Okay, let's move. What? I think the game... No, the game doesn't pause, does it? Um, I don't know why it is actually... I don't know why it's actually pausing or stopping at some point. Is it because of their food condition? Because they don't have any more food? That I don't know. Warning, encounter in the southeast. Okay, what are we up against? Uh, info? Marching in a southern direction. What is it? Nice. Twelve knights. Uh oh. Uh oh. I took too long. I took too long. Battle one. Hey hey, we won. Okay. Archers ten. Okay, we killed all their knights. Okay, so I wonder if this means that 
archers beat knights. Yeah, knights beat barbarians, barbarians beat archers. Fairly simple, but let's find out how that works. Okay. Okay, let's try that. How about these guys? Okay, come on, you knights. Info. Okay. Running out of food, but so is everybody. Oh boy. I don't know if we're gonna reach them in time. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do is to get there fast enough so that we can. Okay, so let's slow this down and zoom in. Zoom! That's how you see the attack with... Let's attack! Come on! Archers! Attack! Oh no, I think I took too long. Yeah, I ended up retreating. Okay. Fighting in the south. Okay, so some of our units here retreated. But we're going to continue here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. We've been beaten. Been beaten. Okay. Cancel. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Oh. Okay. Let's go. Exhausted. Okay. How did this go? Let's see how this works. Zoom in. Okay, archers attack. Oh, oh, these are barbarians. Back off. Oh no, they lost one man. Okay, okay, okay. That's how it all starts. Okay, let's zoom in. Archers attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they killed all of us. Looks like the... Um, it looks like the, the Mongols are gonna win this one. The, because they're all a lot faster. And we are all out of our archers. And we only have... The knights. Yeah. Enemy sighted west. Okay. I lost. Continue. Oh well. There you go. 56 casualties. Okay, so... Go to war. Let's see. Yeah, let's go to war. So we lost the race for the flags. We could try it again. But we can also try the Battle of Arcellus. Battle of Arcellus is in uh, 48 BC. It was the most important of Julius Caesar's civil war victories. Pompey's phalanx was facing the Roman legion. On one side was the Enipeus River. On the other flank, Caesar was outnumbered, but he had a line of reserve cohorts. The battle began with a head-on collision of forces. Using superior tactics, Caesar turned a losing situation into a brilliant victory. Prepare to take command of the Roman legions and try to find the tactical flaw in the defense of Pompeii. Will you find the path to victory or travel the bitter road to defeat? This introduction sounds like there's a hint in here somewhere, so let's see if there is a path in which we could take in order to penetrate the tactical flaw in Pompey's defense. Here we go. Okay, the villages supply food, forts don't supply food, supply line range is long, forts train men rarely, your men are in good shape, 
enemy is seen always. Water is deep and dangerous. This tells us that there is such a thing as fog of war. Water is deep and dangerous. Mountain low and safe. Forest is dense. There we go. Oh, are we up against Genghis Khan? Shouldn't we be up against um Caesar? Tactical genius, but does not always protect his conquests. Um, well, but we're not supposed to be fighting. We're, we're supposed to be Caesar. We're supposed to be fighting uh, Pompey. So, what would that be equivalent to? Ah, uh, whatever. Let's try this. Okay. So time is slow, and let us go. Um. Yeah, I think what we can do here is. Wait a minute. We. This is happening a little bit faster than I thought. Counter. Okay. So uh, zoom. Er, attack or retreat? Oh, might as well. Attack. Barbarian squad. Barbarians attack. Uh oh. We lost. We lost 14 men that time. Okay, I, th I. Let's move these guys. Info. When moving, marched. March fast. Okay. I don't even know what these guys are. Knights. Okay. Move. Let's go here. Okay. Move. Okay. Uh, size. Knights, Archer, 7. Sure. Move. There. Let's try that. What's this? Size. Knights, 3. Barbarians, 11. Move back. Ooh, oh, it's already okay. Zoom. Okay, knights versus knights, is it? Attack. Let's wait for them to attack. Squad, attack. Okay. I think we're gonna win that one. Okay. Zoom. Okay, attack. Let's wait for them to come. Squad, attack! Come on! Okay, we still win. Okay, zoom. Uh, okay. Let's wait for them to attack. Attack! Squad, get ready. Attack! Ah, uh, I didn't think we would win that one. Okay, let's see how this is going. Maybe we can get them on the flanks. Yeah, let's get them on the flanks. We should be able to... Okay, they're doing fast march. Fine, that's good. Uh-oh. Info... Fast march. Okay, good. Come on. March. Okay. Zoom. Oh no. Okay. Attack. Squad. Forward. Okay. Move it. And squad. Attack. Yeah, they were they were tired. These guys were tired. We've got to hold them off while we march. This way. Come on. Zoom. Oh, dear. Okay, archers move back. Archers, archers, back off. Knights, attack. Archers, attack. 
Okay, that's good. Okay. Zoom. Okay. Archers. Archers back off. I, I, just attack, archers attack. Okay. Okay, good. So far, so good. Uh oh. Okay, good. We won. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we got this one. What do we got here? Archers, archers, back off! Oh, we're all archers attack, all of them. Retreat! Come on, retreat! Okay. Mark. A formation. Join. Uh oh. Zoom. Archers, back off! Come on, archers attack! Okay. Okay, zoom. No, no, let's play for time. Come on, how about you? How about you? Okay, battle one. Hey, we got a chance here. Hey, we won! All right, all right, we won. Woo! Okay, yeehoo! Wow, it's been a long time since I uh, played this and I didn't think I'd win. So what did we do here? Basically what we try to do is we try to hold off and protect that white flag. In the meantime, we'll see if we could actually rush off, send off a detachment. Unfortunately, we had knights. We would, it would have been faster if we had archers to grab the black flag. There you go. Yahoo! So there you have it. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we hope that you enjoyed this uh, game. It's uh, one of the earliest real-time strategy games, and I'd like to thank Diverspud for recommending this game. Um, I hope you had as much fun as I did in uh, watching this game as I did in playing this game. Thank you very much. In the meantime, everybody. Subscribe, like and subscribe and tap the bell icon to keep up on our latest videos. Thank you very much.